Hi guys and welcome back to another tutorial here at Rachel Productions. We're continuing with the series uh, Volumetric Light from a Window using Blender Cycles 2.7 of course. This is part 3 and in this tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to add extra shadows besides the shadows that are simply cast uh, on the floor from the object, in this case the pot plant. Uh, if you had for example shadows that were uh, close to the window uh, or the light um, or on the other side of the window how would you create those shadows um, with the system or setup that I have created here um, it has its advantages and that as I said we don't need to use any compositing in the setup but when we want to set up uh, or create shadows on the ground from sh from objects that are close to behind or in front of the window um, then we have to make some changes uh, or, or cheat a little bit to get around certain problems and so that's what I'm going to show you now um, basically what I did was I uh, created a burglar bar and we're going to use that as our object uh, in front of and or behind uh, the window so let's just get to that right so <clears throat> I just created this wrought iron uh, burglar bar give it gave it the black uh, diffuse shading and um, very basically um, created from uh, bezier curves if you would like me to do a tutorial on that you can let me know um, I might probably I most probably will just do it um, for you um, but I've just appended this into this layer here and I'm going to just add all our other layers um, that we are using and I'm just going to place that uh, wrought iron uh, burglar bar um, in front of this window okay this is just a very rough roughly made uh, burglar bar um, just so that we can get some idea of uh, shadows and how they work with the system okay so um, immediately when we look up here now um, at, at this uh, um, yeah we, we see that we have this strange square and that's because the light is coming through that aperture well there's a simple way of dealing with that all we do is we select the box and um, going into your object properties um, right down at the bottom where it says ray visibility you just uh, deselect the camera and on the other one as well and there you go alright so that sorts that problem out um, now that we have the burglar bar let's see what the shadows look like alright so the the shadow isn't really what I want I, I want a more uh, 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 I want a shadow that's more uh, going to fit in and, and, and show more of that detail of that burglar bar because it's it's getting a bit too magnified um, in relation to these here which are quite similar uh, to the size of the plant but that's because the shadows are closer to the floor because now when I grab the burglar bar along the z-axis and I bring it closer to the ground uh, then obviously the uh, shadow will be more in, 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 in line with the or fit into that um, square there of light so how do we sort this out okay um, well the reason the reason that this is happening is because we're using an aperture setup so if I go and I place it uh, let's just rather do control Z to get it to the position it was um, if I um, go into this here, into the setup, and um, I grab grab this again, and I just place it in line with that aperture there, and I scale this down, uh, what you'll notice is that uh, if I go into my area lamp, and always do this when you when you're struggling to see where your shadows are it's because you have um, probably set your size over here uh, higher than zero okay remember that the number zero will give you an absolutely sharp shadow perfectly um, sharp 
the shadow of your object and so then you can see it now what is quite interesting as you can see the um, the size of the shadow matches the size of the square aperture um, and what's nice is now you're getting shadows distinct shadows on the plant itself if that's what you require um, just to give it a more realistic appearance and set it to 0 0.001 let's see how that looks um, yeah you know and you can go higher as well of course you'll notice um, my aperture size is a little bit smaller it should be a little larger because my array is uh, larger there so uh, let me just set that as well while we are about it there so I'm just going to set that again I've selected the box and in edit mode with the vertices selected I'm going to press S and 1.5 that's a little too large do that again I press escape press S 1.1 and that should be not too bad there okay um, all right so that's sort of that but you can see how the uh, shadows are looking there um, we also just need to position um, this uh, in fact what we'll do is we'll just scale it a little bit so that that bar those bars are outside um, yeah that's okay uh, you get the idea all right now the problem is uh, what about the actual uh, burglar bar that was on the outside? Um, well, that's simple. Uh, what we're going to do is cheat a little bit. I'm going to um, press Shift D, uh, D and then I'm going to scale it again and bring it by pressing G and Z, bring it down again. All right and now we have two images we have the shadow of the other one and the shadow of our fake if you want to call it uh, shadow um, so again all we do is we go into the object settings of that uh, real or visible uh, burglar bar here on the outside and we go down to camera view we do not uh, to ray visibility camera view we don't deselect but we deselect shadow and then that shadow is not going to be formed from that uh, object but rather from the other one okay so that's simple and effective all right um, now let's just check if we go up to the window um, and we have a look we don't see the fake uh, burglar bar because we are using uh, let's just see we are using an emission volume object well then uh, this is also going to be now bad news because I said to you that we could um, put this burglar bar or I was going to uh, put this burglar bar either in front or behind the window so since we can't see the uh, fake burglar bar we are obviously not going to see this one as you will see when I bring it behind it has disappeared so what do we do okay it's very simple um, you'll remember that um, this as I said is a uh, emission and remember that we had solidified it um, the thickness at this stage is 0.1540 now the odd thing with volumetrics is that you can fool the volumetric shader as it were into emitting light and to be transparent if I simply go here and I press 0 okay um, the object is now visible through the uh, through the uh, uh, window if I bring the uh, light down a little bit then I get more of a realistic view and if we go back down here everything should still be the same okay the emission here was just uh, from the from the pane was just to create a bit of a glow from the window okay now if we take a closer look uh, at this image now though we do see that fake burglar bar okay 
So uh, just zooming in there so that you can see it, there is our fake burglar bar. Um, basically all we're going to do is simply select that fake burglar bar and go into object properties, ray visibility again at the bottom of your object property there and deselect camera and that disappears. The shadows will still be transmitted because or, or cast because we have not uh, deselected that and so if we have a look there everything is fine. All right okay guys uh, I hope that uh, helps you a little bit mm, to understand a bit more um, in the next uh, of the series part uh, four um, I actually didn't think this was going to end up being a series of this uh, length um, but in the next series I'm going to show you <clears throat> how to set up the uh, window to look a little bit more realistic um, because at the moment it looks rather flat and uh, we actually have no sort of glass there it, it really looks bad um, so I'm going to uh, show you how to sort that out in the next tutorial.